Alright, so we got an exciting match here. So we got Kaka um, from the from the player from Kaka is Vivid the Great MBA for most of you don't know MBA stands for Master Bachelor Associates because that's what he really has. And then we got Brakeson from the losers bracket. <laughs> so interesting enough, like we got actually two Oregon PR players here. Not Salem PR, but Oregon PR. Yep. Vivid is the champion of Oregon, so he is our number one. And we got Brakeson, who is actually ranked at number five right now. Um, he has actually played uh, Vivid twice and actually has lost both times, but no games given yet. So, uh, to to clarify, Vivid not only beat Brakeson twice, but he's literally never dropped a set to yeah. an Oregon player in Smash 4 ever in his life. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, he I said Oregon specifically. In Smash 4? In a, in a tournament? Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. So never mind, we take that back. Three games. Three sets. According to, according to Timmy, Vivid has lost three sets to... Was the Sale the third Tommy, one? Tommy, Timmy, and Sale. Okay. Wait, um, Sale team too? Yeah, Sale. Wait, who'd you, who'd you say it was? Who'd you say it was? Sale? Yeah, who'd he you said Sale. Yeah. Alright, well that's what we were told. Yeah. But um. Right now it's a really close match already, because one... Literally one... One, one screw up is gonna be uh, punished to a kill. Yep. Oh. 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 Vivid gets and, out of there. And one thing that um, and one thing that both these characters are very good at is punishing. Right. And Vivid really wants to go in with that up smash. He's just yeah. like looking for it. It has a it has invincibility frames. So that's a, oh my gosh. He got up at like Why exactly so the right time. To I know. Like forward smash. Wow. He had like invincibility for one of the yeah, heads. There and you then, go. Wow. And there's that 144, we're at almost max rage Vivid here. Yeah. But, um, what is it? Brakeson played on um, Vivid earlier today, and, or, I think. No, 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 no. Um, Brakeson did not play Vivid at all in the winner's bracket. Yeah, he was put in losers by Kaido Kun, who he then came back on in losers' semis. Yeah. And he was mad. <laughs> like, more than just mad, if you guys seen that. Everyone's match. mad when you lose, dude. Yeah. No, hey, I'm sorry. I. I do whatever I can to make it fun, but they don't make it fun at all. Right? I have fun. I have fun. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, when you lose, everyone gets mad for a little bit, you know? Uh, yeah, people I mean, get over it, but, you know. I get over it pretty quickly. That's <laughs> not even a kill. Nope. That, oh, is, that is the fair, fair. that's it. Fair. They've got 47% of gravy. But what um, Gregson's really good at using in Diddy Kong is he's actually really good at using the priorities that uh, Diddy Kong is really well known for. <laughs> And I mean, and that's why um, Diddy Kong actually has a good matchup against the Sheik matchup because his moves are just like out there. So like before even Sheik even like even Sheik launches the attack, Diddy Kong just just right. says, no. Diddy still has the crazy good frame data he did had before the patch. The only yeah. difference is he doesn't have like the up air kill, stupid kill options that are like brain dead to get. Yeah, like down air to up air. Wow, and the forward smash during the jab battle, yeah. jab 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 jab. They were exchanging jabs, and he's just like, okay, well, okay, well, smash well, screw this. I'm gonna give you the kamehameha. And so Vivid takes game one. Huh? That you lost supposedly to a according to the twins, we were told you've lost sets before to organs. Vivid saying no. The launch tournament? The launch tournament doesn't count. Launch tournaments don't count. Uh, okay, apparently at the launch tournament he lost some sets. There's uh, okay. disputes about whether or not it counts. Alright, okay, let's just say this. When Vivid started playing the game, he lost, but that doesn't really count because that's a that's a launch of the game. No one really knows how to play the game yet. Like even I didn't know Luigi had like a zero to sixty combo. I, I don't think I was even at tournaments or watching them. I was casual still. Oh, uh, I wasn't much of a casual. Oh, the up tilts, the up tilts. Oh, the, um, the misty, the misty up air. But he got four up tilts, which is value and damage. Right. There's yeah. the double up air. Yeah. He found it later. But what is it? Um, Did you see how he just landed? He just doesn't even care the bananas there. He just like yeah. lands near it. 
He is not letting, um, what is it? He's not letting Brakeson get his bananas because that's how Brakeson actually sets up some of his, like, That's uh, actually sets up most of the stuff he does, honestly. Yeah. He uses the banana to, to pressure you into doing bad stuff, and then he also, uh... He also uh, gets the get stuff with it like that. Oh yeah. And I actually think Brakes one of Brakes' bigger strengths as a player is his ledge game. Like people have struggled really hard. Once he gets someone off stage, they're off stage for a while it seems like. And he one of the things we're seeing here is that uh, you know Jimmy's doing Viviv's doing so good in the neutral that um, he's off stage very rarely. Dude, that chain of back airs with yeah. Mario. Yeah. Mario's back air and aerial mobility is crazy. That's and he can chain his feet. back airs the same way Sheik chains her fares if he gets a uh, spacing right. Like he went Donkey Kong. Donkey yeah. Kong can also chain his back air twice. Yep. But no, Mario can do it like, like if you do it right and then, and then through a short hop, you can like land and jump up and do two more or something. Like Mario's oh. crazy, yeah. Ooh! That's it! Oh, That's oh it! My God. That game was it! He got him on that momentum. The side B, the side B, he says no. Yeah, and then he he had to keep all that momentum from the cape side B as he started his up B. Yeah. He just couldn't make it back. No. Nope. Vivid tried to do that to me a couple of times, but I'm Luigi, so I can actually survive it afterwards. It's time for the back attack. Vivid oh, confident enough. He's got to come he's in with, pulling out he's got to show little everyone little like why he has a title, <laughs> so he has to play Little Mac. Maybe he'll give us the hype today and give us the KO punch. I hope <laughs> Yeah, but with, with um, Vivid's um, good reading skills, he can actually give off, like, he can legitimately play with Little Mac. Because Little Mac involves a lot of reading skills. Because, like, a lot of his moves, it's just like you can punish a lot of people with it. Like, forward yeah. smash, down smash, up smash, forward tilt. Like, a lot of things just is just punishable with, um, with Little Mac. So like if you get caught off guard, you're expect like some like that right yeah. there. Like that's some heavy damage right yeah. there. Yeah, it was just because he was scared and he wanted to spot dodge. Yeah. And Little Mac wasn't going for grabs, like he didn't need a spot dodge there, but he got a forward smash because he did. Oh, and he countered. But we've got the KO punches at the brink of release. <laughs> there it is. The KO punch, but off stage, he's gonna save it. Ooh! Wow. Goes for the low recovery. Little Mac's safer option. On this stage, Little Mac can also wall jump if he's at the right height. Oh yeah. I forgot Little Mac's another char a character that can wall yeah, jump. Yeah, you wouldn't think he is because he's supposed to be so sucky in the air, but he, <laughs> he actually has a wall jump and it's a, a significant extension of his recovery. Oh my gosh. See. Breaks and kicks the platform. Scared. He does not want to deal with this KO punch, and he oh. finally finds a way to get it offline. I mean, he should still be scared of the fact that Little Mac could just forward smash or down smash for the kill right now. Yeah. Look at that! The wow! Flame, the flaming punch. And also, can we talk for a moment about how bad of a stage this is for Little Mac? Oh, yeah. He, he, has, he, just legitimately he can't get onto those platforms with a single jump. He has to double jump to make it onto the lower platforms. That's a little sad, actually. Yeah. They're I mean, just that much higher than the platforms on Battlefield. On Battlefield, he can single jump onto the platforms. Here, he has to double jump. Wow, that's kind of uh, that's kind of terrible. Actually. Yeah, it's super terrible. This is I mean, this is this and Duck Hunt are the two worst little max stages in the game because you can't deal with them even camping out the air either. That down tilt up. Uh, uh, that was actually down tilt forward, forward smash. smash but yeah, with an upward tilt. Up yeah, yeah. Ooh, we're almost at we're almost at KO punch. Oh, the brink. The brink of KO punch. Oh, there's a release. The the throw activates it. Ding ding. The banana. But the breaks in. This is how I want to get KO. Like once again, camping the platforms to avoid this KO punch. There it is. Oh! There it is. He shows why he has a title. <laughs> with the pop off, he finds he finds his way up onto the platforms with those double jumps. And now Boom! he has two titles on him. He has the, the Salem title, then he has the Oregon title now. Holding both his champion belts. Popping around in glee. And his name is John Cena, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, it's also uh, it's also Jimmy. Yeah. Really, it's really, it's really it's kind of funny, actually. But there's your Grand Finals 3-0. Wins with uh, Mario with first two games, and he wanted to show off.